well you want to give fish a better bigger home and it doesn't work out you see what they did to the dorsal this soldier catfish was bitten on the dorsal forefront on the back the tail is all a good portion of the tail is missing it's all tattered damage on the tail is similar on these two I think it's the masseer so these fish cannot stay here it's been uh, three days and if after three days there is I, I see that they are stressed and don't come out to feed run away try to hide that's because of their that's because of the they're harassed and beaten. And I think it's probably the masseur. I doubt the silver dollars. I doubt other catfish too. Especially after remove cynodontis. Some cats wouldn't care for it. Wouldn't do that. The uh, giraffe catfish could do that but it has no teeth. So it couldn't leave such a damage, such a injury. I mean, there are some three decorous cynodontis in there. That's a possibility, but again, I, they usually stay in one spot by the back wall. So I doubt this very much as well. Irwini wouldn't do that. Cichlids always stay here. The Argentea, Silver Vieja. So they, I don't think they could do that. I'm pretty sure it's the masseer. They tend to bite any fish, new fish that gets them, that uh, gets put in their tank, just to see if they can opportunistically get something from it. I doubt silver dollars too, even though they do have the dentition, the teeth, to do that. Amorchid catfish wouldn't do that, and the four-line Pimilotus catfish wouldn't do that. Lima catfish probably wouldn't do that either. Pterodorus granulosus wouldn't do that, black sharks wouldn't do that. That's pretty much it. Batnoids wouldn't do that. They, they would either swallow or leave fish alone. So this damage is, I attribute to Mystere and this guy have to go back into the 240 to grow some more okay after this harrowing experience of getting regularly attacked in 1800 gallon I didn't I didn't witness anything so it was happening when I wasn't passing by the tank probably mostly at night but I'm sure some of it was happening during the day they're back home in their 240 gallon where they grew up one foot proved to be too small and it might not be even the size but the temper these are timid fish I mean usually the soldier catfish are much more outgoing than their cousins Pteradorus granulosus, granulated catfish, or Niger catfish, or Irvini catfish. The uh, soldier catfish, they usually cruise the tank all day long with some rests in between. They don't really need to hide 24-7 at all. They hide, they hide maybe a quarter of the time or some of the time, not much. And other, and other times they just cruise around confidently looking for food. As you saw, they started feeding in the new tank within 15 minutes. So that wasn't a factor. They were stressed. I mean, you can see how beaten up their tails are. The upper lobes and the ends are missing. That's, that's the work of the masseurs. That's what they can get at. Because they don't have no teeth. Just a firm grab by the mouth 
is I can't really do any biting, but they can only try and uh, tear off little bits and pieces of where the body is the weakest. Okay, failure. <laughs>